Hey, it's Jason Creel. One of the things I've been reading about is how to make a homemade weed killer. So there's a bunch of different recipes out there, but I'm going to show you some of the common ingredients. And I'm going to make one today, and we're going to actually try it out. So um, the common ingredients that I keep coming across are salt. I've got Epsom salt here, uh, just regular vinegar. This is just white distilled vinegar and blue dish soap. And so uh, I'm going to make up about a half a gallon. So I'm going to start with the vinegar. So I'll pour approximately a half a gallon of the white vinegar. All right. Since I'm only trying to make about a half gallon, go with half of half a cup of salt. And the dish soap acts as your surfactant. So I'm going to put um, approximately a tablespoon of dish soap. Okay, so I'm going to mix this up. I'm going to spray a section of the grass and I'm going to compare it side by side in another video with uh, Roundup or what is a, a common weed killer, glyphosate is the active ingredient. So we'll compare the homemade uh, weed killer with, with the glyphosate or Roundup. I showed how to make a homemade weed killer using simple ingredients, vinegar, dish soap, and salt. And so I have that mix up here in about a half a gallon. Um, and I'm going to compare that side by side with what I have mixed over here, which is a more common uh, weed killer is Roundup with the active ingredient glyphosate. And so I'm going to do a side by side comparison, um, spraying the, the homemade weed killer here to my left and the, the uh, Roundup here to my right. And what we'll do, we'll just check on the results um, over the next week or so. And, and just uh, compare and see how they work. First, I'm going to spray the homemade weed killer on a patch here. I'm going to soak it pretty good. Next, next, going to do the roundup. Okay, it should be a small green patch in between where nothing was sprayed. But um, So we have the homemade weed killer over here to the left and round up to the right. We'll check back on the results. Thanks. Hey, I'm Jason Creel. You know, it was about 10 days ago, I conducted a, an experiment. And basically what I did was put together uh, a homemade weed killer using vinegar and dish soap. Um, and salt and compared it the results on spraying this patch with the results of using Roundup. So if you remember on the experiment I've, I've got the um, over here is where we use the homemade uh, weed killer. There's a, a small strip in the middle where we I didn't spray anything and then on the right side is where um, sprayed Roundup. So after 10 days um, you know and I've been keeping an eye on the results um, you know, you, you patch in, it, this is, we're talking mid-September, so, you know, the grass is, is starting to, to show some signs of, of, you know, it's not as green as it would have been in the middle of summer, but um, I did see some results on the homemade weed killer. 
Uh, it's not brown, um, but it, it, it looks like to me it basically burned uh, the leaves of the grass. And so um, I'm not sure if, if a different combination of you know, homemade weed killer would, would have got better results. Um, but it looks like it, it started to burn the leaves, uh, and possibly if I to use, use a little stronger um, mixture of the vinegar and salt, it, it may have gotten better results. But I, I did see some results on the grass, and perhaps over the next week it'll continue to, to show better results. Um, so that's on this side. Then in the middle here uh, is where it didn't spray at all. And then on the right side is, is where the, the Roundup is. And of course, uh, it shows you know good results as would be expected. So anyway, the point of the experiment, I just I hear about homemade weed killers. I wanted to see it for myself. I wanted to, to do a side-by-side -side test and, and see the results. Uh, anyway, feel free to, to leave your comments. Uh, I'd like to hear what your thoughts are. Thanks.